Beyond the Hype, a fashion lifestyle tech podcast. Presented by Stephanie Williams and Greg Lewis. All right, so today we're taking a deep dive into the future. And I mean, this time... Going all in. Yeah, exactly. We're talking about Meta's Orion AR glasses. Yeah. Have you seen this? I've seen it. It's all over the place. It and it looks... It's straight out of Minority Report, right? It really does. I mean, those holographic displays, those personalized ads... It's wild. I feel like we've been talking about this kind of tech forever. And, and now it's like right around the corner. Exactly. It might actually be here soon. Yeah. And you know, it's not just about the visuals. Although those are cool. Oh, they're going to be incredible. But think bigger picture here. Okay. So it's not just about being cool it's about it's about a fundamental shift in how we interact with tech okay i like where this is going so no more like no more like hunching over screens like a caveman yeah exactly we're talking about a world where our digital world blends seamlessly with our reality okay i'm intrigued paint me a picture what would my day look like with these orion glasses on okay so you're walking down the street right okay. but instead of scrolling through your phone you're actually present engaging with the world around me. Exactly. You see a friend across the street. Oh, I see it. And boom, a little notification pops up reminding you about that coffee date later. So no more like awkwardly juggling my phone while trying to cross the street. No more of that. I'm sold already. It gets better. <laughs> okay, better than no awkward phone juggling. I'm hooked. Remember those clunky hand gestures we all look like? Oh, you mean like I'm trying to like... Trying to swipe through the air like you're conducting an orchestra? Exactly. Like everyone's looking at me like I'm crazy. Gone with Orion. Out the window. <laughs> Out the window. They're talking about a neural wristband. Hold on. A neural wristband. Did you say neural wristband? Yeah, you heard that right. That sounds like something straight out of Ready Player One. Right, and I think that's Meta's whole play here. Not just like small improvements, but like... A revolution. Okay. We're talking full-on paradigm shift. So they're not messing around. Not even a little bit. The fact they're even considering a neural interface. That's a bold move. It's a huge statement. So how are they going to pull all of this off? Right, because... Are we going to look like we're wearing those like bulky headsets? That's some cyberpunk reject, right? Yeah, yes. exactly. Not exactly my everyday style. No, not a good look for anyone, I don't think. No. But here's the kicker. Early reports are suggesting. Don't tell me they figured out how to make it sleek. Sleek and possibly even lighter than your smartphone. Wow. That's the goal anyway. All right, so what's the secret sauce? Waveguide technology. Okay, you're gonna have to break that down for me. Basically, it's about projecting those digital images okay. directly into your field of vision. So no more like intermediary screen or... Nope, right into your eyeballs. My eyeballs... Okay, so I'm picturing like... It's still clear images. But if it's so light and sleek, yeah. where is all the tech going? Ah, that's where the wireless puck comes in. A wireless puck. Yeah, think of it like Orion's little sidekick. Okay. It handles all the heavy lifting, all the processing. So the glasses themselves can stay. Light and comfy. Makes sense. But let's be real here, all this cutting edge tech. Yeah, this isn't going to be cheap. No such thing as a free lunch. Especially not in the tech world. So if I want to be first in line, what am I looking at? Well, early estimates say about $700. $700? Yeah, not exactly pocket change. That's a serious investment. It's an early adoption tax. Okay, but when can I actually get my hands on these things? Don't get too excited just yet. Oh, man. Late 2027 is the current timeline. 2027. Yeah, and even then it'll probably be a limited release. So like U.S., Canada. Exactly. The usual suspects, early adopter markets. Okay, so we've got some time to wait, but that gives us plenty to unpack here. Oh, tons to dig into. For instance, I've heard whispers about Orion being compatible with contact lenses. Yeah, that's one they're keeping pretty hush-hush. Really? Details are scarce. Come on, give us something. I'm trying, but look, given that they want this to be an everyday kind of device. Sure. Makes sense they think about us contact lens wearers. <laughs> yeah, you can't exactly wear glasses and contacts. Fashion faux pas. Exactly. And a recipe for a headache. Okay, so let's say I do take the plunge in 2027, and these things become as essential as my phone. As they very well might. What happens if I'm the unfortunate soul who loses them? Ah, the age-old question. Every glasses wearer's nightmare. Well, good news is early reports suggest... Please tell me there's a find my glasses feature. There is. It seems like it'll be built right into their smartphone app. Okay, that's a relief. Yeah, no more retracing your steps for hours. Because losing my regular glasses is stressful enough. Can you imagine the panic? You would be a whole new level. A whole new level of anxiety. Exactly. Okay, so we've talked a lot about the tech behind Orion. Old bells and whistles. Right. But I think it's time we really dive into... How it's actually going to change our lives. Exactly. Like, how will this actually play out in the real world? Okay, so let's say you're heading into a big meeting. Okay. 
Instead of fumbling with a bulky presentation. Which I always do. You just gesture and boom. Oh, what a hologram. A 3D model right there on the conference table. No more compatibility issues. No more huddling around one tiny laptop screen. Gone. Everyone can actually interact with the model. In real time. Okay, now that's impressive. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Okay, so what else you got? Think about creative fields, architects, walking clients through virtual buildings. Wow. Designers making real-time adjustments to 3D models. It's like stepping into the digital world. And all while still being present in the real one. Okay, that's mind-blowing. And for the everyday user. Yeah, because not all of us are designing buildings in the metaverse. Right, but imagine effortlessly translating a menu in a foreign country. Okay, that would be amazing. Or navigating a new city with directions projected right onto the street. Okay, now you're just making me impatient for 2027. I know it's exciting stuff, but yeah. there are always challenges with any new tech. Oh, there are always hurdles. So what are some of the obstacles Meta might face with Orion? Yeah. What could go wrong? Yeah. Well, for starters, digital equity. Meaning not everyone will have access. Exactly, at a rumored $700. That's a lot of money. It could widen the digital divide. Creating a two-tiered system. Exactly, where some have access to this augmented reality and some are left behind. Yeah, that's always the danger with new tech. It often exacerbates existing inequalities. It's a pattern we've seen time and time again. What can they do about it? That's the million dollar question. Right. And there are no easy answers. Okay, so what's another challenge they might face? Well, aside from the price tag, yeah. they need a thriving developer ecosystem. So basically, people need to actually build cool stuff for Orion. Exactly. Meta can build the hardware, but without compelling apps and experiences. It's just a really expensive paperweight. Pretty much. And then there's the whole social acceptance thing. Oh, yeah. Well, people actually wear these things in public. It's like Google Glass all over again. Right. Will it be cool and futuristic or creepy and invasive? It's that constant tension between embracing the new and clinging to the familiar. And we can't forget about the potential for misuse. Okay, yeah, let's talk about that. What are some of the potential downsides of this tech? Well, one concern is distraction. Oh yeah, we're already glued to our phone. Imagine trying to talk to someone who's constantly lost in their augmented reality. Or bombarded with notifications. It could really hinder real world connection. And then there's the privacy issue. Oh yeah, huge one. If Orion can recognize faces and display information about the people around me. It could be a goldmine for data mining and targeted advertising. That's a bit creepy. To say the least. And what about hacking? Oh no. What happens if someone gains unauthorized access to your glasses? That's not a thought I want to entertain. That's a bit unsettling. Okay, so some valid concerns there. Oh, but yeah. we need to remember that every technological advancement comes with risks and rewards. Absolutely, it's about weighing the pros and cons. And having open and honest conversations about both. Exactly. So that we can make informed decisions about how we integrate these technologies into our lives. It's about shaking the future we want. <laughs> <laughs> I like that shaping the future we want. All right, so we've talked about the cool features, the potential downside. Yeah, we've really gone deep, haven't we? We have. But now I want to zoom out, look at the bigger picture. The really big picture. Exactly. How could Orion actually change society as we know it? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? And it's not just about how we use it. Right. It's about how it changes us. Okay, so big picture thinking here. Give me some potential societal shifts. Well, one thing that comes to mind is social spaces. Okay. Right now we have physical spaces and digital spaces. Right, like I go to a coffee shop or I hang out online. Exactly, but Orion could blend those together. So instead of just seeing tables and chairs at the coffee shop. You're seeing layers of augmented reality, personalized recommendations, maybe even virtual art installations. It's like the physical and digital are all mixed together. Exactly, it could make our experiences richer, but it also brings up questions about control. Like who gets to decide what we see? Exactly, the cafe owner, the tech companies us. It's a lot to think about, and what about our relationships? You mean like, will it make us more connected or less connected? Yeah, could Orion actually make us more isolated? It's definitely a possibility. I mean, look at us now, we're glued to our phones. Ignoring the world around us. Exactly, and Orion could amplify that. So we could end up physically present, but mentally checked out. Lost in our own little augmented realities. It's like a double-edged sword. It is, and it all comes down to how we use it. Right. Finding that balance. Between the digital and the real. And that brings up another important point, digital literacy. Oh yeah, huge one. If everyone's gonna be using AR, 
we need to actually understand how it works. Absolutely. And how to use it responsibly. Because this tech is powerful. It, it can be used for good or bad. Exactly. So we need to be informed. And we need to start educating young people early. So they're prepared for this new world. A world where the lines between physical and digital are constantly blurring. Okay, so we've covered a ton of ground today. From the tech specs to the societal impacts. What's the one thing you want listeners to take away from this deep dive? I think the most important thing is that the future of AR isn't set in stone. Okay. It's up to us to shape it. So we have a voice, we have a choice. Exactly, by talking about these issues, by asking tough questions, by demanding responsible development. We can make sure AR enhances our lives. Instead of controlling them. I like that, a call to action for the future. We all have a role to play. Look, this has been quite the journey, hasn't it? It has. Exploring Meta's Orion AR glasses from all angles. The good, the bad, and the potentially ugly. But hey, that's what the deep dive is all about, isn't it? Uncovering the truth, no matter where it leads. Exactly. Yeah. So. Until next time, stay curious, explore the world around you. And never stop questioning. <laughs> That's a wrap. Beyond the Hype, a fashion lifestyle tech podcast.